Welcome everybody to another quick slayer guide where I just give you the most basic information so you can get out there and start slaying right away. So in this guide we're going to be talking about Muspa. So the basic requirements are you need to have completed Fate of the Gods and you're going to need to have 76 slayer. Other than that I really recommend that you just have at least 80 magic, um, probably higher though depending on if you're um, going to be fighting multiple of them at once, but at least 80 magic and you're probably going to also want to have 95 prayer so you can use uh, soul split and torment you're also going to want to have 96 herb lore so you can make overloads and you're going to want to have 96 summoning so that you can of course call in the pack yak and bring some extra food with you other than that though there really are no other requirements so the gear setup is pretty simple i'm just bringing a basic mage setup here i'm using virtus and i'm using a noxious staff um, if you have lower items or something that's not quite as expensive, that's perfectly fine. And if you have even more expensive stuff, then that's great too. Uh, you can use a Blood Amulet of Fury, which is what I'm using, and a Luck of the Dwarves Ring. And again, this is um, completely up to you what you want to bring. The inventory setup that I choose to bring is the runes to cast, uh, whatever magic spell you're going to use. I personally like to use Ancient Magics and use the Blood Barrage to get that extra little bit of healing. You want one Overload. And I choose to bring the Holy Overload, that way I get the effect of the Prayer Renewal, which really helps out. Um, and then I bring about 8 Prayer Flasks, which should definitely last for the entire task. Other than that, I bring some Winter Storage Scrolls for my Pack Yak, so of course I can bank everything. If you don't have a Pack Yak for any reason, you can of course bring some Magic Note Paper. Now, the Shard of Zaros here, you can bring it with you or not, and it depends on one thing. If you equip this in your pocket slot, then the Muspa will not be aggressive towards you at all. Now there are a total of three Muspa, one that attacks with each type of style. So you have one that ranges, one that mages, and one that does melee. If you're wielding this, this shard, only one will ever attack you. However, if you go in there without the shard, they will all be aggressive towards you, which is really great if you're um, good enough to tank them all because you can pretty much AFK the entire Slayer task and it's very easy. So that's something that you're going to have to decide for yourself. Other than that, a Spring Cleaner is also very helpful as they drop a ton of Rune Salvage. So it's just nice to get a High Alc and get it out of the way. But that's pretty much it. And I just bring a, a few food to have in my inventory and I always fill my Pack Yak with some extra food just because, you know, you never know what can go wrong. So the most basic way to get there, and of course there are other ways like if you have the 6th Age Circuit, but the most basic way is to teleport to the Eagle's Peak Lodestone. Once you're at the Lodestone, you want to head straight south, and we're going to be heading to the World Gate. Once you're at the World Gate, you want to right-click and click on Quick Dial. This is going to bring up a couple different options, and you want to choose option 1. I think it's Freneske, or Freneske, I can't ever know how to pronounce this, to be honest. Go ahead and select that, and then go ahead and click Inner World Gate, and you're going to be given these different options, and you want to travel to the Cradle. Now keep in mind, as soon as you go in here, you'll have about 10 seconds, and then they're going to spawn and start attacking you. So it'll give you a little bit of time to pot up with your overload and get your prayer turned on. And again, my prayer that I use is Soul Split and Torment. So we're going to go in here, activate our overload, get our prayer on. And I usually start off just using some basic abilities, building up to my thresholds, and then I usually just use Sunshine. Um, and that's about it. So you'll see right here, they'll start, uh, I guess I didn't turn my prayer on. They're all going to start swarming me, and that's because, of course, I do not have the Shard of Zaros equipped. And I just build up my abilities until I get to Sunshine. And again, if you don't have that, you can hit them with, you know, your Thresholds and any other ultimate. This is just what I prefer. You know, I try to make it as chill as possible pretty much the whole time. Um, and something else to kind of keep in mind, so some of the drops that you'll get here is they do drop the Muspa Spine and Elder Energy, which is used to make the Nightmare Muspa Pouch, which is very useful for divination training. They also drop Dragon Maces. As you can see, I already got one here. They drop quite a lot of Dragon Maces, Dragon Helms, and Dragon Wards. They also drop Shark quite often, so even if you're worried that you might run out of food or these are a little bit tougher for you, honestly, don't worry about it because they drop Shark, I don't know, every five or 10 kills. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, they're really pretty simple. I mean, this whole time, like I said, I'm not even really paying that much attention and I'm able to just drop them pretty easy. So I hope this guide helped you guys out a little bit. If it did, please leave a like to show your support and until next time.